So last month in August 2018, Netflix released a seven part docuseries called Afflicted. It followed the lives of seven people living with chronic illnesses, from ME to Lyme disease to chemical sensitivities and much more. All of the illnesses are rare and very much misunderstood by most people, which is why a Netflix documentary would be the perfect place to talk about that, to spread awareness and stop misunderstandings. Except not really, because that is not what happened with this series. Before watching the show, I saw a bunch of negative opinions online, and when I say a lot of negative opinions, I really mean a lot. But I did decide to give it a watch, to form my own opinions. And uh, yeah. I found that there were not only issues with the series itself, but there were also issues with how the production treated the participants during and after the filming. I tend to find that there are two main themes of issues that I had with the series, and that's with ethics, and that would be the way that the filmmakers behaved during the production and how they treated the participants, and representation, and that's how the participants were actually portrayed on screen. Afflicted claims it's not a reality TV show. It markets itself as a docu-series, a documentary series. And when making a documentary, you have to think about your ethical behaviour, how you're acting on set, how you're treating the people, and if you're being fair in the way that you are representing them in the series. The producers and directors of Afflicted have a lot of power. Why? Not only because they're making a film about people with chronic illnesses that are already struggling and having a hard time, but because they essentially are shaping the representation of the people in the film. And with Afflicted, I mean, the way they were portrayed was like lying and over-exaggerating and taking advantage of people. Generally, it casts a lot of doubt on whether these illnesses are real. And not only is that damaging to the people in the film, it's damaging to the communities of people that have these conditions. Along with the opinions of people that didn't like Afflicted, there were so many opinions of people criticising the people in the, in the programme because they don't really understand how these illnesses work and so they tend to form their own judgments. And this is why a show like this is dangerous when it comes to representing something serious like illnesses. There was this theme running throughout the whole series about the mind. It was literally in every episode, even in the introduction of the first episode. They actually had a bunch of, you could say, experts talking about the mind and how powerful it is and how it can affect your body and what it can do. After all, the brain is a very, very powerful organ and can cause all kinds of mischief. You can be deluded that you're sick, meaning you can believe that you're sick when in fact you're not sick. You can have a false belief about anything. Those experts, most of them at least, hadn't met the people in the film. They're kind of just talking in this general way, but when you put what they're saying next to these people that are suffering from physical illnesses, it kind of gives this idea, it insinuates that these illnesses are caused by problems in the mind. And in terms of these particular illnesses mentioned in the show, they are physical ones. This is not to undermine mental health. It needs to be taken very, very seriously. But these illnesses are not mental health illnesses. You can have one of these physical illnesses and also have a mental health condition it's quite common, but it doesn't mean that the treatment for one should be for the other. Also, I should mention, every single participant in Afflicted had to go through a psychiatric test, but that wasn't mentioned in the series. Of course it wasn't. So when you make a documentary, you're not going to include every single thing you filmed, every piece of factual information that you got. You can't, because there's not going to be enough time. However, when it comes to a medical documentary that's talking about illnesses and science, medicine, you might want to include factual information that is needed to explain the illnesses better so that the audience can understand what you're talking about. Let's take Jameson, for example. Jameson suffers from ME or chronic fatigue syndrome. It's so serious that he is unable to leave his bed most of the time. When they were talking about chronic fatigue syndrome, the doctor said, no one really knows in great detail what ME is. What this does is it makes the illnesses seem way more sensational and weird and oh we just don't know what's going on when yes like there could be more research for most of these illnesses but the way they were making it seem is like nobody knows and it's like there, there are some people that know you just might want to actually include their opinions. Almost all the people in the series have doctors that they see on a regular basis, specialists that they've spoken to, experts that have spoken to and they weren't interviewed for the show because I guess they didn't want to. 
It's quite normal in documentaries to form narratives. The way we watch content in general as human beings, we like storylines, we like to follow narratives. It makes it more engaging and interesting for us when we're watching something. That's okay, however, when you're forming false narratives that paint people in a certain way or paint a false image, that's what I find to be unethical behavior. Let's take Pilar, for example. Pilar had a gas leak which caused terrible issues for her health, and she deals with chemical sensitivities. They did leave out that she also deals with other conditions that she was officially diagnosed with but they basically made Pilar the villain of Afflicted and it's like first of all why would you want to make a villain out of anyone in a documentary that's meant to be about chronic illness they painted her as this wife that was taking advantage of her poor husband and her illness wasn't real she was just using it as an excuse to divorce him and basically just use his money previous issues in their relationship wasn't mentioned her official diagnoses and the doctors who have papers and papers and papers of what she has been diagnosed with and proof of it wasn't mentioned they kind of just made it seem like she was making it all up now you've got somebody who's dealing with a chronic illness which is already hard having a bunch of messages sent to them about what a horrible person she is and not just with Pilar like throughout all the people in the film they were splicing conversations together that weren't really together to kind of form this narrative once again it's normal for documentary to construct a storyline when you're forming false narratives stitching people's words together and doing things that are not necessarily accurate it's extremely unethical and it can ruin people's lives with a lot of these illnesses, there are traditional treatments that people can take, which was not mentioned very often throughout the series. There was a big focus on the strange, weird, tried, but not necessarily tested treatments that patients had to go through. Some of which were actually encouraged by the crew themselves and not actually done on the patient's accord. To me, that was another thing that kind of pushed this narrative that the people in the series are kind of weird and the illnesses are not really real and they're doing all these wacky treatments to try and fix these imaginary illnesses. That's kind of the image that it portrayed. It's not to say that some of these alternative treatments don't work i'm sure some of them do but it just didn't help this picture that they were trying to paint i found with afflicted i don't feel like it was a documentary it was a reality tv show it was sensational it formed false narratives it mirrored the likes of the real housewives or other reality tv shows that do this kind of thing in reality tv show the people that appear on those shows get paid but if the show is not really a docu-series and it's a reality tv show and these people gave up some of their lives they actually put their health at risk just for a chance to show people what their illnesses are really like and make a difference in their community and they weren't paid for it as well at the end of the day, seven people decided to do a documentary to try and change the perceptions of their misunderstood illnesses and hopefully create a difference for other people in their communities. They were told that this would be done through a compassionate lens and it wasn't. And now there are real life repercussions for what has happened and it's not okay. So thank you guys for watching this video. Definitely check out all of the essays written by the people that appeared in Afflicted in the description box below. I highly recommend you read them because they include way more information than I have just said about what their experiences were. If you like more videos like this, more reviews and stuff like that, comment below. And comment below what you thought of Afflicted. Did you think it was okay? Did you think that this show should be taken off of Netflix? Let me know in the description below. Anyway, I'm the queen of awkward endings, so see you guys later.